Hey guys, happy Friday. Today is our first real assignment where I'm going to be actually teaching you a lesson, okay? So bear with me. There's going to be some learning curves, but we're going to get through it. All right, the first thing I want you to notice, um, I'm going to try and have these slides ready for you uh, most days just so it's kind of a to-do list so you can see what we're doing and what needs to be done. Anytime you see a picture on these slides, just go ahead and try and click it because most of the time there is going to be a link on there. So this microphone is just going to be me talking to you. You're not going to see my face, but it's just going to be me explaining this post and kind of what we're doing today and what I expect of you. So today you're going to see that we're going to open up our interactive notebook. You're going to follow along with me in your notebook and you're going to complete a Google form at the very end of this. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to get into your interactive notebook from Google Classroom. So remember, before you go into anything, you need to go into your class link. Okay, yours, you know what yours looks like by now. Mine looks a little bit different than yours. You're going to go into your backpack. And you're going to go into our classroom. Okay, and I want you to... My computer will load. I want you to go to your Google Classroom, okay? It's going to take you into your classroom. And under classwork, you're going to see interactive notebook. That's going to stay there all year long, okay? So anytime you're looking for your interactive notebook, it's going to be right here. So go ahead and open up your interactive notebook. All right, so mine's going to look a little different than yours because I have not chosen um, a cover page yet. You guys have already done that by now. Okay, so go ahead and go to your first slide. It's going to be this place value chart. And I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger. One second. Okay, I'm back. I've made mine a little bit bigger for you. All right, so here's your place value chart. I know you guys did place value in third grade, so it's just going to be a little bit of a refresher. And then we're actually going to be going a little bit further than you guys went last year. We've got millions, 10 millions, 100 millions, and billions, okay? So really quick, I just want to talk to you about the um, periods of a place value chart. The periods just help you to read the chart a little bit better, okay? So um, this green period here, ones, tens, hundreds, this period is your ones, okay? It's your ones period. Your next period. Your thousands, your ten thousands, and your hundred thousands. This period is your thousands. Okay, guys, I got a new pen, so just kind of bear with me while I need to learn to write a little bit better. Okay, and also want you to notice down here this comma. Okay, this is not there for no reason. This comma is to help you when you're reading big numbers, okay? So if it's in the thousands period, then that comma right there, you're going to replace with the word thousands. Okay, so for an example, I have this number right here, okay, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I cannot remember what that is. Think of your periods, okay, so 54,000 is this number, 54,000, okay. Let me delete these out. Okay, let's go on to our next period. You've got millions, 10 millions, 100 millions. So what do you think this place value is going to be? This period is going to be the, you're right, the millions. Okay, what do you think this comma down here represents? You're right, it represents millions. <clears throat> so if I had this big number right here, These commas are going to help me, and these periods are going to help me. So if I have 185, I know that I'm in the millions period, so this comma means I need to say millions. I'm going to pause. 185 million, 782,003, okay? And then the last place is the billions. So that period right there, that comma is representing the billions place. Okay, so guys, all you need to put on yours um, is ones, thousands, and millions in your interactive notebook if that's going to help you, okay? All right, 
go to our next slide. All right, so we're just going to jump right in it, guys. Um, we're going to be practicing expanded form. So I know you guys talked about expanded, expanding form and expanded form in third grade. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through these, and I want you to follow along with me. I, in yours, created text box. So you can actually click in yours, oops, sorry, and type inside of yours. Okay, but I'm going to write mine out. But you are definitely welcome to type in yours. Okay, so the neat thing about expanded form is you may be thinking, oh my goodness, look at all these numbers. There is a trick, and I'm going to show you this trick. So before we start, I want to read this number. And guys, when you see big numbers like this, I know you get a little bit intimidated, but I want to show you a, a little trick. So hang on just a second. Okay, I'm back, and you're going to notice that I covered up my numbers. Okay, I covered up these numbers by their periods, okay? So each number is a period. Do not get scared when you see big numbers. Whenever you see these numbers, I want you to think what period is this in, okay? So we've got one billion. Okay, now all I have to do is read this period. You know how to read three digit numbers. This is 903. I know that was my billions place, so here's the million. So one billion, 903 million, Five hundred. Okay, I know this three-digit number is just five hundred thousand and forty. Okay, so when you see big numbers like this, break them apart. You know how to read three-digit numbers super easily, so break them apart based on their periods. So one billion nine hundred three million five hundred thousand forty. That is the number. That is how we read that number in standard form. Okay, so now to practice expanded form. You know the word expanded means you're expanding it and making it as big as you can. So we're going to break this number down in expanded form. And the trick to do expanded form is to go to your furthest place value. That's your biggest place value. So in this number, our biggest place value is 1 billion. Okay, so to write this in expanded form, now all I have to do, guys, is write all of these digits as zeros to represent 1 billion billion. Okay, so I'm going to write out all of these zeros. Okay, then we're going to add a plus sign because at the end all of these numbers should add up to our standard form number. Okay, so now I know I'm, I checked off this place value, okay? I already did that one. I'm moving on to this one and this is in the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, Hundred million. So this number right here, this digit represents nine hundred million. Okay. So once again, I'm going to write that nine, and everything behind it becomes zeros. All these other digits are zeros. Okay. Let's check that number off. All right, guys. When you have a zero, you do not have to write out anything in the expanded form because that zero just is the value zero. It doesn't represent anything other than a zero. Okay, let's move on to our next place. We're moving on to this three right here. I'm still in my mil millions period. So ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and millions. So this three represents three million. So remember, everything behind this number just becomes zeros. So all of these behind here are just zeros. Oops. Sorry, guys. Hmm. Okay, so we've got 3 million, and everything behind that is zero. Let's check off that three. All right, now we're moving on to this five here. This five now is in the thousands period, okay? 500,000. So this five represents 500 thousands. So once again, we're going to write that digit five and everything after that digit just becomes zeros. Okay, we got the five done. Once again, we do not have to do expanded form for these zeros. So we're done for the, with the thousands. We're moving into the ones periods now. Another zero, we don't have to worry about it. 
here's a four. We know that four is in the ones, tens place value. So this four represents four tens or 40. I'm writing a digit and zero. Oops, sorry guys, I should have done that in another color for you to separate them. Okay, so we got the four done and then you know we don't have to do the zero. Okay, so if I were to add all of these numbers up, I would get a total of 1 billion, 903 million, 500,000, 40. And that number matches our number up here. So this was standard form. Standard form is just the regular number written in, in numerals. Expanded form is when we're expanding out every single digit, okay? All right, I'm going to do one more practice with you, and then I'm going to uh, let you guys try and do a couple of them on your own. Okay, one second, I'll give you a little break. Okay, I'm going to come down here and do another big number with you. I'm going to read these numbers out. I'm going to do this one down here, and you guys are going to be responsible for these. Okay, um, so this number right here, got our periods. There's thousands, there's millions, okay? So we've got... 83,459,112. Notice that at the end, I'm not saying 112. That is because the word and represents a decimal. There's no decimals in this big number, okay? So 83,459,112. You guys are going to write that out in expanded form. Okay, let's come down and look at this big number. Let's look at our periods here. I've got my thousands period, I've got my millions period, so I know that I'm starting out at millions. So let's pretend that these numbers are not there. Let's just look at this three-digit number. 749, I know that's the million, so 749 million, 300,000, 200. Let's say it again, 749 million, 300,000, 200. I'm going to write that on expanded form. There's a bunch of zeros in there, so it shouldn't take you too long. Okay, I'll help you about, I'm going to help you on this one. I'm going to write this one out for you. So we've got our thousands period, our millions period, and our billions period, okay? So I'm going to read this number. One billion, let's look at this three digits. That's just a nine. One billion, nine million. Okay, look at this three digits. It's just a 40 right there. I can see it. So 40,200. I'm going to read that again. 1 billion, 9 million, 40,200. Okay, I'm going to write this one out in expanded form. So remember, we're writing the biggest digit first. Everything behind it becomes zeros. So that 1 represents 1 billion. Oops, I'm not supposed to be writing plus signs. Sorry, guys. Talking and writing. Got to get back in the hang of it. Okay, so my commas. This number right here represents 1 billion. Okay. I got to open this pin. Okay, so we got that one done. Let's pick a new color. Okay, remember, we don't have to do the zeros, so I'm... Not worried about those anymore. Oops. Okay, now I'm going to do my nine. Don't worry about that. My nine, I remember that's in my millions period. So that, that nine represents nine million. Okay, so we're going to come over here and write nine million. I'm going to write the digit. Everything behind it becomes zeros. Oh my goodness, Miss McCullough, quit doing the plus signs. Okay, got the nine done. Don't have to worry about that zero. Let's look at this four right here, okay? I'm in my thousands period, so that four represents 40,000. Okay, let's write 40,000. Write the digit, and everything behind it becomes zeros. Got that four done. I don't have to worry about that zero. Okay, I'm done in my thousands period. I'm moving on to my ones. This three-digit number right here is just the number 200, so we know that this two represents... 200. So we're going to write that place digit of two. Everything behind it becomes zeros. All right, if we were to add all of these numbers up and line them up, we would get 1 billion, 9 million, 40,200. All right, guys, 
you'll see that I'm going to put the answers in these two text boxes, but I still want you to try them out because in a little bit you're going to have expanded form practice. All right, guys, so I typed the answers in for these numbers. Number 83,459,112. I wrote my eight, my first digit eight, and everything behind that became zero, so 80 million. Okay, I wrote my digit three, everything behind that became zero, so there's three million. Went to my next place, the hundred thousands, it's a four, that represents 400,000. Went to my next place of um, 10,000, that five right there. Everything behind it became zero, so that's 50,000. Okay, so I'm going to my next place value, the thousand. There's a nine as the digit. So I write my nine, everything behind it becomes zero, so there's 9,000. Go to my hundreds, it's a one, that represents 100. My tens place is a one, that represents 10. My ones place is a two. All right, guys, and I want you to double check um, your answer for 749,300. Oh, I'm sorry, 749,300,200. Okay, check your answer. Make sure you got it right, and then we're going to move on to um, word form. All right, guys, here we are for word form. Guys, word form is just when you're reading that number and you're writing those numbers in words, okay? It, the name of this form tells you exactly how to do it. Word form, write the number in words, okay? The only thing is sometimes this number is not going to be in standard form. Sometimes it's going to be in expanded form, and sometimes it's going to be in expanded notation. So we're going to have to be able to understand how to decipher all of these numbers, okay? So we're going to look at our first one here. This number is 345,903. So it's already got some of the words written out for you, and these text boxes, we're just going to type in the numbers that are missing. So 345, we have to put what period that is. It is thousands. 903. Okay, we're going to skip this one right now because I'm, I'm going to do um, extant, expanded notation next. Okay, and then we'll come back to this one. This number here is written in standard form, just its regular old form. Okay, we're going to look at the periods. There's the thousands and the millions. So we know this is 50 million. Look at this three digit here 216,005. So 50 million, 216. Thousand. Oh, I did not put a text box there. You can put one if you want. If not, don't worry about it. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna write five in that one. Okay. Okay. Now let's look at this one. It is in expanded form, so we're gonna have to break it down. Whenever I see numbers like this, when I see an expanded form, the easiest way to solve anything already in expanded form is to put it into standard form. Okay, so I'm going to write this number out in standard form. I'm going to look at my places here. I've got thousands, millions, so this means this right here is two billion, okay? So I'm going to write it two billion. Okay, I'm going to look at my next number. I know that this is my thousands. That's my millions. So that means this is 60 million. Okay, so after the billions place, we know there's a hundred millions right here. We're going to, have to put a zero because this number is not 60 hundred million. It is just 60 million. Okay. So now I'm going to go into my next digit. I'm going to put a six. Okay. Because that six is going to represent the 60 million. Okay. Are there any millions place? Nope. So we're going to put a zero there. Okay. So I know now after my millions, I'm going to be looking at thousands. I'm going to look for hundred thousands. There's a four hundred thousand. So I'm going to write a four in the hundred thousands place. Okay, and then I'm going to look and see if there's any ten thousands. There is, okay, ones, tens, hundred thousands, ten thousands. It's a five there. Do we have any in our thousands place? No, we do not. So we put a zero. Okay, now we're going to go into our ones period. So we're looking for hundreds. There are no hundreds. 
Go into our tens. Oh, there's a 70. So we're going to have seven tens and eight one. So this number is 2 billion, 60 million, 450,000, 78. Okay, I'm going to show you another way to, to solve that if you guys are just like, what in the world did Miss McCullough do? Okay, so watch this. Okay, if I know that this number right here is billions, and I'm going to have to write all my place values, I'm going to fill them in, okay? So I'm going to start down here. I've got ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, billions. Okay, so that's all my place values, and I know that I've got to fill those in with digits, okay? So let's rock and roll this. All right, so I know my billions. I know I've got a two for two billion, okay, because I saw this right here, two billion. All right, so ones, tens, hundred, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions. Are there any hundred millions? No, there is not. So we put a zero. Okay, are there any 10 millions? Yes. Right here, 60 million. We're going to put a six there for 60 million. Are there any millions places? No, we're going to put a zero. Okay, we're going on to our thousands period now. So are there any hundred thousands? Yes, there is. There's a 400,000 right there. Are there any 10 thousands? Yes, right here, 50,000. Are there any thousands? No, there are not. Are there any hundreds? No, there are not. Are there any tens? Yes, there is a 70 right here. That's seven tens and eight ones. And there's your number written out in standard form. Okay, so we're going to type those in. We've got two billion. Sixty million four hundred fifty thousand seventy eight. Okay, I'm going to give you guys just a second to solve this one and then I'll come back and go through it with you. All right, guys, how did you do? I hope you did okay. Um, we're going to go through this number right here. I see a thousands period and a millions period. So I'm going to look at these three digits 120 million. 573,895, 100, All right, we're going to move on to the next slide. And it is going to be... Expanded notation. Okay. Expanded notation looks a lot like expanded form. The only difference is expanded notation contains parentheses and multiplication. Okay. And um, this is really, it's not hard, but it will, it's going to look a little bit scary because we're going to have parentheses and multiplication signs and plus signs and just a bunch of numbers. This is actually my favorite form to do. All right, so I just created a text box for you guys to type in. So just follow along with me, and you can type in yours as well. <clears throat> okay, the first thing, again, is just to, to read your number out. All right, so let's look at this number here. I've got my thousands period and my, my millions period. So now I've got 45 million. Look at this three-digit number, 903,121. Okay, so we are going to make this into expanded notation using parentheses, and multiplication, okay? Your first step is to type a parenthesis. To do that, you're gonna hold down the number, the letter, uh, sorry, tongue type, the shift button and the number nine, and it's gonna create your open parenthesis. Okay, and your first step is to write the very first digit you see, your biggest place value. And our biggest place value is going to be the 10 millions place, and that digit is a four. Okay, so your four is our biggest digit. And for the multiplication sign, you're just going to type the letter X. Remember that X represents multiplication. And from here, you are going to fill in the next place value with a 1. Okay? And everything behind it becomes a 0. 
So we're replacing that four with a one now and all these numbers behind there become zero. So remember that four is in the 10 millions place. So we are gonna write this out as four times 10 million. And then you're gonna close your parentheses. Once you do that, you're gonna click shift and the zero number. Okay, so let me say that again. You're always in expanded notation. You're gonna start out with your biggest place value and that digit was a four. Okay, and then to determine what you're multiplying that four by, you're gonna replace that four with a one and everything behind that number becomes a zero. And so that four became a one and everything behind here became a zero. Okay, that four is in the 10 millions place. So we are multiplying that four by 10 million. There are four 10 millions in 40 million. Okay, all right, so now you're gonna do the plus sign. Shift, and that plus sign is right beside your backspace button. Okay, so once again, we're gonna do parentheses. Shift and the number nine. First step is to write the next biggest digit. That next, digit, next biggest place value is going to be in your millions place, okay? And that digit is a five. So you're gonna write that digit. Okay, then we're gonna put times because we're gonna multiply it times the place value that it's in. That place value is in the millions place. So we're gonna replace that five now with a one and everything behind it becomes zero. So there are six places behind the million. So we're gonna put in six zeros to represent one million. Okay, once you've typed out one million, hit shift and zero to close those parentheses up. Okay, plus sign shift, and that plus sign is right beside your backspace button. Okay, we're moving on to a new period now. Okay, we're now we're where it says 903, that period is the thousands. So once again, shift in the number nine for your open parentheses, type in your nine. Okay, and it is in the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousand. So we are gonna multiply this nine times 100,000 because 900,000 represents nine 100,000, okay? So now we've written our digit and we've, we've put our multiplication sign. We're gonna type a one and everything behind this now becomes zeros, remember? So there are going to be five zeros behind the number nine. It is in the hundred thousandth place, so it should say nine times 100,000. Okay, our next place is a zero. We do not have to do anything with the zero. Remember your plus sign is shift and the number beside your backspace. All right, let's look at our next place value. Shift and number nine for your parentheses. Okay, that digit is a three, so type that digit. And now let's determine what place value is it in. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. It's in the thousands place, so guess what? We are multiplying that three by 1,000. Replace that three with a one and everything behind that three becomes zeros. Three times 1,000 equals 3,000 and that's the place value that it's in. Add your plus sign, shift and the, the button beside your backspace. Okay, let's go to our next place. I'm done with my thousands period, so now I know I'm in my ones. So ones, tens, hundreds, there's a one in the hundreds place. Oh, I forgot my back, my parentheses. Shift to number nine. Okay, there's a one in the hundredth place. One times 100, because the one is in the one hundredth place. Okay, do your plus sign, do your parentheses, shift number nine. The next place is our tens place. That digit is a two in the tens place. So two times 10, close your parentheses, do your plus sign. Open your parentheses back up. That last place is a one. Okay, that digit is a one and we're gonna multiply it by the place value that it's in and that one is in the one's place value. So one times one. Okay, so if we were to multiply all of these numbers out and add them together, we would get the number 45,903,121. Is anybody mind blown yet? Like, oh my goodness, what did we just do? Okay, we're gonna practice a couple more together. Okay, so this number right here is written out in expanded form. Remember, we want it to be in standard form. That is the easiest way to, to put a number in any other form is to put it in standard form first. Okay, so I'm gonna write out expanded form for us. Okay, 
So it looks like we've got ones, hundreds, thousands, one hundred thousands, millions, billions. Okay, so I'm going to go down here and write all those place values. I'm going all the way to the billions. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, million, ten million, hundred million, billion. Okay, so let's fill these in. So we've got four billion. Okay, let's see, do we have any hundred, hundred millions? The answer is no. Do we have any 10 millions? The answer is yes, we have six, 60 millions, which is six, 10 millions. Do we have any just millions? The answer is no. Now we're going into our thousands period. Do we have any hundred thousands? We do, we have 500 thousands. Do we have any 10 thousands? No, we just have 6,000 here, so we're putting a zero. Do we have any thousands? We do, we have six thousands. Okay, we're in our ones period now. Do we have any hundreds? We have a 500. Do we have any tens? We do not. Do we have any ones? Yes, we do. So that number is 4 billion, 60 million, 506,508. Okay, um, on this one, you do not have to fill that one in. Okay, well, let's just go down to the standard form one. Uh, but this was a good practice to put expanded form into standard form. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. All right, so let's move on to this number right here. Okay, so you've got your text box that I created already. You're going to double click in it so you can start typing. Okay, the first thing is to read this number. Let's look here. I've got the thousands period. Got my millions period. Oh, I got my billions period. So I know I'm going all the way to five billion. Okay. So remember, we're going to open up those parentheses, shift to number nine. My first step is to write that digit, the biggest place value digit. And that's the billions, it's the five. Okay, five times. What are we going to do? We're going to put a one for that biggest place value digit, which is the billions, and everything behind that digit behind that place value becomes zeros. So we're putting in nine zeros to represent one billion. Don't forget your commas. So that's one billion. So five times one billion equals five billion. Close your parentheses and do your plus sign. Remember your plus sign is shift in the, the key right beside your backspace. Okay, follow along with me. Here we go. The next digit is seven. That is in my 700 millionth place. So I know I have to multiply that seven by 100 million. Close your parentheses, add your plus sign. The next digit is a two. And now I'm gonna multiply that two by its place value and it is in the 10 million. So I'm going to multiply it by 10 million. Okay. My next digit is a zero, I don't have to worry about it. My next greatest place value is a, the hundred thousands and that digit is a one. So we are gonna multiply one times its place value, which is 100,000. My next number is a nine. Is that a nine? I can't see it, okay, yeah. it's a nine. So I'm going to type a nine. What place value is that nine in? It is in the 10 thousands place. So I'm going to multiply nine times 10,000. Remember, you can just replace that digit with a one and everything behind it becomes a zero. Okay, my next digit is a four, and that four is in the thousandth place value, so four times 1,000. My next number is a zero, I don't have to worry about it. My next digit is a zero, I don't have to worry about it. And then my last digit is a four, and it is in the ones place, so four times one. Okay, I hope you guys are getting the hang of this. Okay, here's another number that is an expanded form again. We're gonna write it in standard form just for practice. Okay, so I know I've got ones, there's thousands, there's ten thousands, there's millions, here's ten millions, and here is billions. So we're going to the billions again, okay? So we're gonna write all of our place value spots. Ones, tens, hundreds, 
thousand, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, <clears throat> and billions. Okay, here we go. So I've got six billion. Do I have any hundred millions? No, the next place, this digit, this number right here is just in the 10 million. So I have no hundred millions. Okay, we're moving on to our um, 10 millions. And I know I have nine 10 millions or 90 million. Put that digit there. Are there any millions? Look at your next number here. Yes, that's five million. So five goes in our millions place. Moving on to our thousands. Do so I have any hundred thousands? No, the next number is 70,000. So there's no hundred thousands. Are there any ten thousands? Yes, there are seven ten thousands. Are there any thousands? Yep, we have four. There are no hundreds, no tens, and nine ones. So this number reads six billion, ninety-five million, seventy-four thousand, nine. Okay, I hope you guys are getting the hang of that. It's really important that you can write um, standard form out of an expanded form number. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a second to try and solve this number here. I want this in expanded notation. Okay, and um, when you come back, you'll whenever I come back, you'll see the answer pulled up and you can check your work. I'm going to help you read this number really quick, okay? So let's look at our periods. I've got a thousand period, a millions period, and a billions period. Okay, so we've got 9 billion, 40 million, 672,000, 816. Okay, you guys work on this. And then when you come back, when I come back on here, you'll be able to check your answer. Okay, guys, here is my answer here. I want you to check yours um, and make sure you got it right. Okay. After you've checked it, I want you to correct your answer. If you did not get it correct, then go ahead and correct it because you're going to want this to look back on. Okay, and then I want you to follow along with me on this expanded form number. We're going to turn it into standard form. Okay, so once again, we're going to see what all places we have. We've got tens, thousands, ten thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions. So we're not even going to the billions this time. Yay, right? So we're going to 100 millions, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions. Okay, let's fill this in. All right. Do we have any hundred millions? We do. We've got 500 millions. Do we have any 10 millions? We sure do. We've got four. 40 millions equals four 10 millions. Do we have any ones millions? We do, we have seven million. Okay, do we have any hundred thousands? No, we don't. Do we have any 10,000s? Yes, we do. We've got two 10,000s equaling 20,000. Do we have any thousands? We've got five thousands, zero hundreds, four tens, and zero ones. So this number is 547 million, 25,000. 40. Okay, at the end of this lesson, guys, um, that is your three forms for today. You're going to have a quick Google form to go back into in your Google Classroom. Okay, get that done. Use this interactive notebook to help you during that form. You can have them both open at the same time. Toggle back and forth so you can figure out if you need any extra help. Okay, if you need any extra help, please um, add comments on your uh, Google form. Okay, and I will, we'll set up a, a live Google Meets so that we can go through and um, help you get, if you need any help on this, I will help you. So at the end of your Google form, if you need any help, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you for following along. I hope this wasn't too long, but we just have a lot to cover. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday.